Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, my special guest is Jordan Meyer. I've heard a lot about Jordan through Isaac. We're up here in northern Minnesota at uh, George Heller's Grazing School, and I've heard about this young fella, and Isaac's like, oh, you just got to meet him. And Isaac, tell me a little, you, you fill in kind of what uh, you know about this fella, and then we'll let him speak. Oh, uh, yeah, just last, last, uh, last September, I got the chance to meet meet Jordan and just the conversations we had talking about what he's doing and, and all the you know crazy busy stuff he has on his farm and how he's making it work and it's it's pretty inspiring to hear hear just what he's doing and everything else and so I was like Greg you got you got to meet him this yeah. time so it's, it's been a high it's been one of the highlights of the school and so I, I wanted to do a video with you and introduce people tell us about you and your operation well I guess we're at George's farm right now you know and I'm five hours south of here, down in the southeast tip of Minnesota, you know, 10 miles from Iowa and 10 miles from Wisconsin. Grew up on a dairy farm, a conventional dairy farm, and we actually raised hogs conventionally too. Um, then graduated high school, I knew I was going to be a full-time farmer from basically 10 years old on. It's just in my blood. I just love it. And started learning about soil health after I had the opportunity to rent a farm of my own and started doing organic row crops for five years and kind of kept on going down this path of soil health and finally got a hold of some of Greg Judy's YouTube videos and and between learning all the good videos that he had out there you know one of the videos that he had that stuck with me from the beginning is you know got to get the animals out on the land and you got to get them out into the field like this and just sit there and enjoy their grazing behavior and listen to them rip the grass. And you know, he said, every time you hear a rip, 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 it's cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> and that just sunk with me. And there's no faster way to build soil health than through grazing. And mm -hmm. when you first see that hand in hand, you know, it just lights a fire on you and you just keep on going. It's just so exciting and fun. And we took it from the row crops to integrating livestock and we were able to go right out of the row crops into a full grazing system and have a bunch of beautiful orchard grass and timothy red clover white clover chicory you know everything is out there and it just changed the landscape and mm. just been so blessed and fortunate to be able to learn from people like greg and so the enterprises you're doing though you've got the goat thing going on tell a little bit about your goats yeah, so the goat thing, that same farm I was talking about, it's a 500 acre farm that we were fortunate enough to be able to lease. There's 300 acres of woods on it, and before they logged the woods, your eyes would have to adjust for how dark it was in them woods before they logged it, and they just went in there and clear cut it, and now there's, you know, a tree every 50, 60, 70, 100 feet even in some instances, and it just grew up in solid brush. So then we figured, well, it's a really good opportunity to start capitalizing on some of this negative stuff and get some dollars made out of it. And we had some experience with getting goats. We got 80 nannies the first time and lost a pile of them through getting the wrong ones. But you know, that's how we learn and ended up going hard at it again. We're not gonna quit. And we got 400 Spanish goats in and we ended up doing that and we're happy with the Spanish goats because they came off of an operation where they had more hands off and you know low maintenance easy keeping kind of a goat and we do that and then we do stocker cattle so we'll bring in stocker cattle to manage the grass in the summer months and then actually have stockpile left over after the stocker cattle leave for my goats and then now my sheep to graze on into the fall and into the winter so. Mm -hmm. Are you doing any dairy? You did do dairy in the past. We still do dairy. We still do dairy. We still do dairy. So Talk about that. Yeah, the home farm there, I'm still on that. And this Wholesome Family Farms came about more so because I didn't know if my future was going to be at home on the dairy farm. And we started building our own enterprises and being able to do this regenerative grazing on our own. And working with my dad, it's been, it's been a process, you know, trying to get us both on the same page and move down the regenerative path but i give him credit though too because we've come a long ways with no-till and cover crops and things like that but the conventional dairy it's conventional the cows are in a barn we're pushing for high milk and stuff there are a few learning things to take away from that and apply it to this in some instances but i would much rather have them cattle out on the grass and out on the land we do have some 100 percent grass-fed jersey cows that we do milk and we sell raw milk off our dairy farm too so okay 
you're you got a lot of hands going out a lot of different a lot of irons yeah, in the fire. A lot of arms in the fire <laughs> yeah how many people you have helping you uh my wife and my kids and how many now, kids do you have we have six kids six kids okay. yeah so and they're big enough now they're kind of throwing in to help some yeah our oldest one just turned 10 on the 26th year so okay. yeah she's really good help helping out with babysitting in a lot yeah. of instances yeah. and then younger boys and, and then everything. the parents your parents are involved in it so uh, the wholesome family farms part no is my me and my wife so my, my wife and i do the sheep and the goats and the, okay. the jersey cows and stuff like that but the dairy my dad and i gotcha. are 50 50 on that so gotcha. yep man you're busy it's, it's a lot of fun a i just love it <laughs> well love one it. of the things i got from talking to this fellow is you don't have to talk to him very long and you can just see he starts grinning and you just tell he's having fun doing what he's doing. Yeah. And so as long as you are got that kind of attitude, you and I were talking earlier, you can't help but fail when you love what you do. Yeah. You know, and you love what you do. Every failing opportunity is a learned opportunity, and take what you learn and just keep mm -hmm. moving forward. So the name of your farm, again, if somebody wants to track or get a hold of you, maybe to buy some goats in the future or some raw milk or whatever, what's your farm Wholesome Family Farms. How do they find you? So we have a website, wholesomefamilyfarms.com, and we also have a YouTube channel, Wholesome Family Farms. Well, you got a YouTube channel too. Yep. Awesome. Y'all got that. Wholesomefamilyfarms.com is your website. Yep. Perfect. Oh, I'm just thankful to be surrounded with like minded folks. Like yeah, yourself. it's been so, awesome. It's been awesome. It's a fired up school. I mean, there's a lot, yeah. of, a lot of good, different. Uh, I, you know avenues that are coming together different perspectives and stuff and lots of excellent questions that fire you know leads the discussion in crazy rabbit trails sometimes but it's it's always helpful to the and right. coming to these events you pick up little nuggets and ideas mm -hmm. to bring back to your own farm and yep. just conversing with other people that are really excited and motivated to Absolutely. make a go of it it just the, the networking that goes on you can't put a price on that no you can't yeah so, so get yourself up here next year yeah that's, <laughs> that's right, right. Folks, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank George again, George Heller, for putting this on. I want to thank you for Thanks, getting Greg. to meet you. Nice meeting you. And, uh, yeah, it's been awesome, and uh, maybe we'll see you down the road. But come to Missouri one of these I'll days. I'll have to do that, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Folks, you all take care, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Thank you.